It's that time of year again. The annual Festival of Banners from the Nanaimo Art Gallery is in full swing. In the next 30 minutes, tracking the giants on Gabriola Island, one person making a positive environmental impact and in the kitchen with your island chef. That and more today on Go. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4, and today we're at the headquarters for the 26th annual Festival of Banners. It's put on by the Nanaimo Art Gallery, and there's still time for you to create. We're going to tell you how later on this edition of Go Island. The banners will start hitting the poles in and around downtown Nanaimo beginning on the May long weekend. Gabriola Land and Trails Trust wants to know where all the giants are and they are putting together a database of all the largest trees on this small Gulf Island. Here's Annette Lucas. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Berg, and this is Terry Bowen. It's her fifth year creating a banner for the Festival of Banners. Why do you do it? Oh, it's just so much fun to paint large, and it's a great opportunity to help the city of Nanaimo become more beautiful. It, are you an artist outside of banner I, season? Yes, actually, I'm, I'm okay. crying anyway. <laughs> now, the theme of this year's festival is Creative City, and tell me about your banner and how it fits into that theme. Right, this is a... Uh, a second one in a series of two and I looked at St. Basil's Cathedral of Russia and because the Russian Olympics are coming um, I thought about changing the domes that they have on the cathedral to shells which would relate to the west coast. Okay. So that's uh, well, how I did it. And do you think mm -hmm. Nanaimo is a pretty creative city? Oh I think it's an awesome city. It Excellent. really is. I'm from a small town called Bowser. It's not too far away. So we, we know drive Bowser. in all the time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And we enjoy it. Yeah. And how long does it take you to paint um, the banners? Well, uh, between two and four days. Uh, this one took two, the last one took three. Full Excellent. days. Quite a feeling of pride when you yeah, see them hanging great. on the poles in the city. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for helping our You're city welcome. be more beautiful and more creative. There's another woman over here working away on her own banner. Stephanie has a banner, and it is called, I'm going to run over, what's the name of yours? Dancing, again? Dancing Waters. Dancing Waters. And how does that fit into the Creative City theme? Uh, the dancing, obviously. I also have a connection with having to be creative job-wise to stay on the island oh, in our beautiful so? city. Explain, explain. So um, I have a business that is Kaylee Waters. And and my husband's business is Coastline, and so in order to stay in our beautiful city, we've represented the water in both of our companies. Okay, so. nice. And is it your first time doing the banner? It's not. It's my first time in a few years, but uh, this is my fourth one. And what do you like about it? It's so incredible, the energy that's here, and just lifts you up and great to be a part of such a fantastic event. I'm always a little bit jealous actually when I come in and everyone's just lost in their world and creating the art. I'm going, I need to find two days to come and create a banner. Are you already knowing that you're going to do one next year or one step at a time here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do one next year. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Beautiful. We're going to throw things over now to Jocelyn Matwe. One individual can make a difference, a positive impact on the environment. One of such fellow is Elan from the Thirsty Camel. Be sure to tune in to Shaw TV anywhere across the country on Earth Day, which is April the 22nd. It's a Monday for continual Earth Day programming. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. This is Brenda Peck. She's the coordinator of the Banner Festival through the Nanaimo Art Gallery. And you mentioned that you don't have enough yet for this year. How many no, do you need first? I would like probably 100 more. 100 so there's, more? Yeah, there's still lots of time for people to come down and enter, pick up an entry form, then take their entry form home, draw a little sample on a four by eight card stock of what they would like to paint and the theme this year's Creative City. Bring it in, then we'll trace it and put it up on the banner for you and you can start painting anytime. And others, I, I, I almost entered one year, but I, I admit that Why I traced you? my image from a book and that's not allowed, no. that's copyright infringement, right? You can't copy somebody else's work, you can't have any lettering, or numbers, or logos, anything like that. Okay. But if you had somebody's picture, like two or three pictures from a magazine, yeah. and you made that picture into one picture, but sort of drew it your own way, okay, you can do that. But you just can't tra sit down and trace somebody else's artwork at all. Now, I'm, I'm kind of a stick person. 
Uh, storyboarding is not something I'm good at. Um, do you need to be a very skilled, advanced artist? You don't have to have any skill to do this because okay. all you're doing is drawing it out on the card of what you would like to paint and I'll put it up on the large banner for you so it's like coming in and painting my numbers. Fantastic. You color it in, outline it in black fine marker, and then when you come in and you book the time to paint, yeah. I'll have it all drawn out for you. Now imagine how dull and dreary our city would be if there oh. weren't these beautiful banners hanging from the poles and they go downtown and beyond, right? These yeah. are all around. It's on Stewart Avenue, Fitzwilliam and Gordon and uh, Front Street, Gordon Street, oh, beautiful. Commercial Street, uh, Terminal, Nickel Street. Finally, it's a fundraiser. For That's the art right. gallery. How That's are the right. funds raised? Because people don't pay, or is there a small entry fee? To well, it, it's not really a fundraiser. It, it, uh, the banners are sold now. The artists have the first opportunity to buy their banners back for $40. Okay. And then that money goes back into next year's program so that we can do this. Right. Also, the ones that don't sell by the artists, they go online for sale for $40 for large and 30 for the small. And it's kind of a, it's a sense of community pride when you go to a friend's backyard for a barbecue and they have a banner I know. hanging to decorate I the know. side of their garage or their deck or something. And, and plus, it's been really neat over the years because this is my 16th year. Wow. Uh, you know, I've seen some of these kids come in at five years old and now they're 20. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting old, I know. You have an age today, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back later on this edition of Go Island and we'll have a closer look at some of the banners that are being created now and you can contact Brenda here at the Festival of Banners if you'd like to get your creativity on display in the city of Nanaimo this year. We'll be back with more after a short break. Still ahead today on Go Island, transforming Victoria's Holly House into a home and in the kitchen with your island chef. That and more still ahead today on Go Island. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and today we're in Nanaimo North Town Centre which is the headquarters for the 26th annual Festival of Banners. You'll see the banners hitting the streets of Nanaimo over the May long weekend. There's still room for you to participate and there's another thing you can do to help as well. You see all these juice jugs and things back here? Well they need more. Brenda says they need about a hundred more of those and they use them to mix the paint so you can drop them off here as I said at the headquarters of the Festival of Banners at Nanaimo North Town Center. Holly House in Victoria transforms the lives of young women but a group of home designers got together for a transformation of another kind. They're turning Holly House into a home. Here's Jen Moranitz. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and today we are getting a little bit of a behind the scenes look at the 26th annual Festival of Banners put on by the Nanaimo Art Gallery. It brings color and beauty to the streets of Nanaimo. Now someone producing one themselves for the first time is Jens Johansson and what is the name of your piece? I call it the City Banner Fest. City Banner Fest. So you're doing um, a piece about the piece that you're doing. It. That's right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a creative city as the theme. So I thought, well, doing banners is, you know, pretty creative. So I figured I'd do a, a City Banner Fest banner. And you're leaving the banner itself white. Yeah, just to show that uh, you can, it's to be painted whatever your imagination That's can right, come exactly, up with. That's right, exactly. Now you've never done this before. Why no, this year? No, it's my first time. Why? Well, I was inspired. I actually saw the uh, video on the previous uh, Banner Fest and I thought, hey, that looks like fun. I'll come down and try it out. Oh, I, this is a risky question. Was it the Shaw TV video? Uh, yes, it was. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. So someone out there watching now might be able to participate oh, next year. Oh, for sure. Come on down. And you're enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's fun. Pretty interesting. I'm learning a lot. This is my first time I've ever painted something like this, so it's pretty interesting. Was it a little bit scary at first to sort of, because uh, if you don't paint, it can be a bit intimidating. Yeah, a little bit, but that's okay. I had to try it out, see what it's like. And uh, where do the houses ideas come from? Is that a street in Nanaimo or is that out of your uh, head? It's out of my imagination. So. It's beautiful. But it's the idea of standing in Nanaimo looking across to the mainland sort of thing. So okay. gives you the idea with the mountains in the background and everything. So. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. And there's still time to participate in this year's Festival of Banners. You don't have to wait until next year. We're going to throw things over now to our island chef, Michael Williams.
that brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. Brenda has me almost convinced to create a banner myself this year. You have about another week and a half to submit your card, and then the banner has to be complete by the first week of May. And uh, they do work uh, Friday nights, Saturdays, and Sundays. So there's lots of opportunity on the weekend. And the smaller banners that you see behind here have been created by a local public school class, and there's still time for that as well. So if you're a teacher or on a parent advisory committee or something like that, you can bring your public school class here to the festival headquarters and the kids can create a banner like that in about I'm told one day. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time.